So we are in Long Island, New York at a local camp. We're doing uh, testimonial interviews for a promo video. And today, this was not the first setup. This was not the original plan. <laughs> um, this is, we shot over there actually before. See where my car is right there? So we had this set up there, but we did not realize, because no one told us, that there's another camp that was gonna do like a dance party thing over there. Now, we had no jurisdiction over them, so we couldn't really tell them to stop or move. So we had a literally stopped interview and move this entire setup over here. So this was the original idea for the setup. Uh, there's my beautiful wife helping me out today, being a stand-in and PA. Uh, it's always great to have someone there to help you sort of set up everything and pre-light and pre-frame so that way the client just walks in, does their thing and walks out. So it's gonna be a two camera thing. Um, very simple, easy, nothing too crazy background. But then as you can see, the kids are assembling back there. So there was gonna be a big, huge audio challenge that I did not know was gonna happen. Uh, and on the side here, I'm trying to do something different with my outdoor shooting, with my lighting. Uh, I got the Westcott Scrin Gym Cine Kit. It's a bit pricey, but it's very multifunctional. It has a silver balance, a white diffusion, negative fill. Uh, very easy to, to assemble and clamp. You know, I do have a 5-in-1 pop-up reflector, but sometimes that's just too flimsy, and if it was a gust of wind, that thing can go flying. So I wanted something a little bit more sturdier, a little bit more, um, you know, just very more well-built. And uh, I guess I like it. It was, worth, it was worth the investment. So I'm trying to always trying to think of new ways of lighting outdoors and making the client feel good. Luckily it was a nice overcast day, so I didn't really have to compete with hot spots. Overall, this would have worked, but audio challenges. If you can tell, that's where we were, over there. And they're having a concert over there. And as soon as, we, again, nothing was happening for the hour we were setting up. And then, <laughs> and then, uh, they just camp started camping, uh, so and that's another different camp that I'm feeling for. So we couldn't really tell them to keep down or move. So we had to literally 10 minutes into the the interview scrap it and move over in a less. At this point, and this is going back to kind of talking with the client. The client really didn't prep me too well on this one, but that's fine. I'm used to adapting. Um, so we had to move our setup, a scotch over, and granted, it's probably honestly even a better frame. Um, see it right here, and have their pool in the back. Just trying to bounce some light in. I'm trying to do negative fill, but it's, just, it's so gloomy, um, and also we're just running against time. It looks good, it looks nice, it's not blown out, it's not muddy looking. It is, it is, you dapped. Um, at some point, you gotta put your ego and uh, your own technique decide and get the job done. Anyway, this is what we're doing today. We got the F FX6 ready to go um, on a 28, you know, if you see my videos, I use the same lenses, 28 to 75 Tamron. Um, have this all rigged out here. Neo batteries, love these things. I should turn it off though, because we have to wait for the client to come back. <laughs> uh, and then C74 on a 70 to 180 with the diffusion there. But this is the new thing I got. This is the Westcott Cine Gym. And I got it because I was doing outdoor stuff. And it's cool, it's a, it's a four by four. Comes with, well, this didn't come with this thing, you gotta buy this, the Westcock grip thing. Um, goes on a C-stand. It's four by four and it can be a floppy. It comes with a, a negative fill floppy. It comes with a white, uh, white reflector, silver reflector, and then it comes with a diffusion thing, which is really kind of why I bought it. So when the sun is up high, just kind of like put it over the person and it cuts down the, the, the light and then just fill in with reflectors. As you can see, uh, we are under a lot of trees here. So right now it's about 11.30. 
So the sun is sort of right above us. Hopefully we can get a lot of, hopefully get a lot of diffusion from the trees so we don't have to have that. Because the last thing I want to do is change the setup again. And we only have two interviews today and then some B-roll. So this is, should be a fairly easy shoot and it's just complicated because we're just out in the elements. Um, we have the, the boom pole here. Um, which and and we're loving, loving the, the talent up too. I keep the same system, same basic thing. I tr I'm trying to experiment with the light, um, using reflectors outdoors. You're like, oh, just use the sun. But again, we're kind of have the trees kind of you know blocking everything. It's very tricky. Uh, and today I brought my wife, who uh, on her day off <laughs> decides to come work. Um, that's where I'm paying her. <laughs> but she's, yeah. But when I do all these camp videos, I need help. There's just no way. Like, I, I had to move all that stuff. Luckily, I had her and I had uh, some of the camp assistants help out. So having help is always good. Um, but yeah. That's kind of what we're doing today. We'll see how this goes and hopefully... <laughs> yeah, see here, the silver reflector. And what was cool about having this was when I was setting up, it was starting to rain a little bit. So I just lifted it up over the camera while I was building it. Because I knew the rain wasn't going to last long and it protected my camera stuff. So you can use it as a flop, you can use it as a, a shelter, basically. There's a lot of uses for it. Um, and it's fairly, really easy to assemble. It's one, it's like one, two, I don't know how many pieces there's. There's a few pieces in it, so that could be the only issue. But I'm going to try to figure out a way to... Um, label it so it's a lot easy but anyone can really assemble it real quick or you can just even use this like a t-bar and then just drape diffusion over there's so many i mean there's it's a lot it's multi-useful i also have a ton of pop five and one pop-up reflectors too but if it's windy they they get rattled and it's kind of a pain so yeah so now we're just waiting for the talent and the the client to come back they went on a tour of this whole thing um once they do it we can dig in and get started and hopefully Get some good stuff, and hopefully these guys stop talking, stop singing. And this was the final setup here, the two camera setup. It was, I actually do like the background a little bit better. Uh, there's a nice little distance. You get the, the interesting uh, background with the, the water slide and the camp activity. Uh, it's not too distracting, but it's also not too boring. It has a lot of depth. So in, all, in the long run, when you kind of... If maybe I was frustrated in the moment that I had to like switch everything over and, and delay the day a little bit, but it all works out. You know, that's the, the rule of thumb. Your, your challenges or your setbacks are usually blessings in disguise. So client was happy. Uh, I was happy. And uh, I guess the rest of the day worked really well. Uh, I was able to get clean audio, even though it is a busy, busy location the the Sennheiser mic here helped the lav helped and I was able to do some tweaking in post for it so it all worked out you just have to be adaptable think on your your toes and know what problems you can solve in post and on set um, and uh, yeah so and like I said the sun didn't come out so it was a nice even kind of flat overcast day and I was able to sort of like brighten them up with the the Westcott screen gym along so it does outdoors are tricky but I gotta say, it came out nice, and um, I think it would have been more challenging if I did have that big, bright, sun blasting overhead. Um, luckily, there's a lot of trees around here, so it gave us a lot of good, good shading and coverage. And um, yeah, and then we were able to get everything done in time. So I guess the rule is just do the best you can with what you got. And uh, the client's happy, I'm happy, so it's a success in my in my book. So thank you for watching this vlog, just to give you kind of a quick, simple way to do outdoor shooting. You know, I'm trying to get these vlogs out. This is actually something I shot in, in over the summer, and I just didn't have time to edit these vlogs because I'm actually doing all the client work. Now I have a little bit of lull in, 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 in work, so I'm going to kind of tackle these vlogs. So stay tuned. i got a few, a bunch more coming. And um, all, as always, thank you for watching, and thank you for uh, supporting the channel. Appreciate it. See you in the next one.